Okay, I am live and I have no followers yet, which is fine. <laughs> oh, sorry, I do, I do have one in my in my chat room. So uh, great, welcome. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a uh, KeyForge deck following um, a deck opening. Uh, first one I've done live, uh, I've got one on my YouTube channel, which is, um, yeah, this, uh, the, the one I did a couple of days ago. This is my second deck opening video, my third uh, deck in total. Uh, so this is, yeah, Keyforge Dark Tidings. Um, if you have found this video, uh, you probably know what Keyforge is. This is the fifth set of dark tidings and we're going to crack open another one um and i have as i've said in the other video uh, avoided all spoilers that i possibly can so we're gonna see how we uh, how we go here and uh, open this deck up and have a look and uh, see what we find um just you know there's a Spoilers for those of you in America who still have to wait four weeks to get your decks, um, but hopefully yeah, you'll enjoy uh, this video if you can't wait. So I'm going to rip open the fun uh, plastic here and uh, see what we have. Uh, so I have a Logos. Untamed and Shadows again. This is the third time that I have got Logos and Shadows in one of my decks. And uh, second time I've got Untamed. So I'm actually hoping that Logos will be like uh, Brobnar was in uh, Mass Mutation, where they just turned up everywhere. The problem was that I didn't enjoy uh Bobnar in Mass Mutation and Logos is one of my favourite houses, so that's fine. Uh, this deck is the Ostenberg's Existential Hermit, which I actually quite like for a deck name, but you know, let's forget about the all this and let's crack it open and see what we've got. I'm doing this completely blind, of course. Um not gonna look at the really cool new horizontal decks uh horizontal uh, deck list which i quite enjoy and uh struggle there we do this smoother later on you can tell this is very noob level video of a uh, deck opening video but that's absolutely fine um so here we go let's uh, move off the uh, deck list and the tide card to the side here and then we are going to go one two just separate the houses twelve perfect Let's start with our first house here. Uh, we have a submersive principle. Each player loses one if the tide is high. Each player loses half of their ember instead, rounding down the loss as well. This is a fun card uh bonus for if you have the tide high i think and you want to uh, uh take someone off check um i think that is a very good card uh let's see we have science again play for the remainder of the turn uh after you play another card gain one nice to see one of these cards in another house as well it's very similar to that uh undame card uh Pi Sweven. Uh, tide is high, draw three cards. I do like this card, and I don't know if you can see that at the top there. Enhanced by 
another draw card. That's possibility of drawing four cards with this card. That is very nice. Hopefully we've got some uh, Obsidian Forge style key cheats in here. Uh, phase shift. You may play a non logos card this turn. This is a very common card. I have uh, two in both of the other decks that I've opened so far. Infomorph, uh, that's what has enhanced my, uh, uh, what was that card that I saw again? <laughs> my Pi Sweven, uh, Sweven, uh, uh, for power. We've got Final Analysis. This helped me big time in a game earlier. Destroy each creature. Each player draws a card for each creature they controlled that was destroyed this way. Yeah, I I enjoy this card. If uh, nothing much is happening on the board and I need to get through my deck. That's very, very nice. And I've got a second one. Um, get some a little bit of deck control in this deck as well. And I'm very happy about this. Um, those of you who know me and have played against me, uh, Eddie, 4x4. <laughs> um, this is probably one of my favourite cards from Worlds Collide, and I am so happy that this is back. Um, and I'm hoping that I have another four here at least. <laughs> um, so we'll see what we have here. What, what do we have? And Okay, that's disappointing because it's not an Eddie. However, this is a new card. This is an armor drone. Uh, Fight Steel 1 with a with free shield. Okay, I, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, Binary Moray. Uh, this says, uh, after you raise the tide, ready Binary Moray. Or... After your opponent raises the tide, exhaust Binary Moray. Okay. Or with Reap Archive a card. Um, and quite a powerful creature to have exhausted as well. So uh, I'm not... Um, yeah, that's going to be quite a risk if I don't have much tide control. I guess tide control is what it's called now, but we'll see. Um, Vespillion Theorist. Yeah, we've seen this one uh, a card many times before. I think this goes back as far as uh, Worlds Collide as well, this card, but you are very happy to correct me. I'm very happy if you want to correct me here in the comments uh, here. And uh, library card. We have our artifact. Um, oh, I'm gonna move my hand from the uh, text. Action, purge a library card if you do. Uh, for the remainder of the turn, after you play a card, draw a card. This is nice, and this is uh, <laughs> very similar, to, obviously, to library access. However, uh, they've remembered to uh, put on the purge library card now as well. So, um, yeah, good uh, artifact there um, uh, from a version of a... Very popular, very good card from previous sets there. Okay, so there we go. There is our Logos card. And I believe we're going to have Untamed here. Let's see. No, we have Shadows instead. Uh, we start off with Walk the Plank. If your opponent has no Ember, deal four to a creature. Otherwise, steal one. This came in a, a webcam game I played earlier uh, to be very useful. Second, walk the plank. Seek a needle. Very common um, artifact. Pretty decent there. Sea urchin. Uh, here we have a, uh, a new card for this set, uh, which says poison. Okay, one power, poison, nice. Play, capture one. If the tide is high, steal one instead. I'm happy with that card. Scooped. Uh, deal two damage to a creature. If it's not destroyed, it captures one from its own side. Yeah, I do enjoy those cards, which um, allow uh, cards to 
allow capturing from your own side. Brings back a little bit of the Mars magic from um, uh, the first few sets. Um, we are gonna say uh, another, have another scooped here as well. Okay, very very nice there, and it, we've even got a bonus number there. Um, yeah, happy with that one. And I have a third scooped as well. This is gonna be pooper scooper for my uh, um, uh, opponents. Hard Simpson. This is an interesting card. Um, this is one I have seen a spoiler of, uh, if I'm honest. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to make the most out of this card, especially with some uh, um, self damage um, as well. However, I won't. Don't think I'll be using uh, scooped on this card uh, for self damage. Cement shoes deal two to, to a creature. Uh, to do damage to a creature, if this damage destroys that creature, raise the tide. Uh, I think this is the first raise the tide card that I've had in this deck as well, so that's going to be quite interesting. Uh, Whisper. Uh, we have some Elusive. Uh, this is... No, we've had this card before. Uh, I remember this card. Lose one if you do destroy a creature. Um, yep. Yeah. I believe that was uh, Worlds Collide. Could be more. Um, booby Trap. Deal four to a creature that is not on a flank with two splash. However, I do have a um, enhanced. This is enhanced uh, with a draw card. And I have a, another Booby Trap, obviously, without the enhancement. Okay, I'm quite excited to crack into Untamed here because I saw some a lot of fun in Untamed in my uh, in my last uh, one. Let's go with the fittest. Yeah, I've seen this before. Give each friendly creature a plus one power counter. Make your big boards even stronger. Uh, the second one. Pers persistence hunting. Play. Yep. Choose a house. Exhaust each enemy creature of the chosen house. Um, again, I think we've seen that before. Have a second persistence hunting as well. Yes. Key cheat. Thank you very much. Forge a key at current cost. And I think you've seen a. Uh, Bit of a um, here we go. Bring a cement shoes so I um, deal da two damage to a creature. If this damage destroys the creature, raise the tide. So I can both forge a key, raise the tide in the same go. I'll uh, I'm happy with that. We have a spore gorger. Uh, give spore gorger a plus one power counter. You may remove each plus one power counter from spore gorger for each counter removed this way. It will deal one to another creature. Okay, this this is nice. Uh, every time I reap, so I've got to keep this on the board um, every time. Uh, uh, for, for a while if it's going to have a, a big effect but it's nice to store up that uh, where where I can Mushroom Man uh, this is uh, I believe back from Worlds Collide it's Fungus, Mushroom Man gets 3 power from each unforged, for each unforged key that you have it gets weaker as the game goes on oh yep uh, Kang Kangavant. Each creature gains reap. Destroy this creature. Fun, fun card. Fangtooth Cavern. This card makes every game is in very, very interesting. Um, I I both love it and hate it in many, many different ways. Beach day. Uh, this is a new card. Return a creature from its owner's. Return a creature to its owner's card. If the tide is high, gain one. 
uh, with a bonus Ember Pip as well. So yeah, I've seen a lot of that actually in this set of actually returning creatures both to owner's hand and um, returning creatures to the owner's deck as well. And I was uh, I lost a game because of that earlier uh, today, um, earlier tonight as well. Uh, Creed of Nature, um, yep, yeah, this returns uh, from I believe Worlds Collide as well. Um, destroy Creed of Nature if you do choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. That creature gains skirmish and assault. Um, assault X X is its power. Uh, always a fun card. And that was a rare, and I have another one of those uh, here as well. Um, so uh, there we have it. Nothing hugely special in, in, in this deck. It's got some deck um, control. Um, it's got a key cheat, and um, it's got a little bit of tide manipulation as well. So... Um, this one will be be fun to test, um, but it's probably not as impressive as some of the other ones that I've opened. And I haven't really opened a um, uh, um, I haven't opened an evil twin deck yet as well, which I really, really, really want to try and do. So I'm going to open another deck if uh, my two viewers uh, here are pleased with that. But that's fine. Um, uh you know i probably should introduce myself as well um i'll be putting this video on uh, youtube too as well um my name's jason and uh to start to, uh, the captain's deck the captain is a pseudonym or uh tag that i have you know i've chosen for uh many many years and so um i really enjoy keyforge um st starting to play a bit more competitively um as well so um yeah hopefully i'll be able to do a little bit more content as well because um yeah it's always fun to do a little bit more content so i'm going to pick up another deck uh and open another deck here this will be my last one tonight um but i really really want to see some evil twin decks as well so let's let's open a uh <laughs> a second deck and um see where we can go uh, let's just clear my uh, desk off a little bit as well so let's see what we have here uh open a second deck what have we got uh okay saurian i haven't explored saurian too much yet in keyforge star alliance haven't seen it, haven't had a look, big look at Star Alliance and Sanctum. I do have a Sanctum in deck as well, but I don't know if you can see this already. <laughs> yeah, we have our evil twin that I've been looking for tonight. Uh, this is the evil twin of Artisan Iridasmale. Irida smile, Irida smile. I, I'm, I'm not too amazing, uh, great at doing there as well. So here we have the uh, my first evil twin deck, and this is really, really exciting. So uh, let's see what we have here when we open this up. <laughs> so geeking out here. It's very late at night. I have to get up quite early in the morning. So um, this will be the last thing that I do. Uh, hopefully I can get this up on thing if I can open this deck. Uh, I'm going to try and not edit so much out as well. It's always fun to uh, struggle with this as well. This is how not to open a deck everyone. And these even have the little uh, tag as well so that you can open a deck easily and I have really failed at this. Yep, second deck. Second deck, that is true. Uh, <laughs> um, cool, so we'll move off there as well. I do love these evil twin decks as well. And we've got our little tide there as well. Uh, here we go. So we're going to do what we did last time uh, so that we see our commons first. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, one, two, Ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, um, let's start where we started before, over on the left hand side here, and tidy up these piles as well, uh, just because I am a little bit special like that. Okay, great. Let's see what we have here. We have our Sanctum uh, taxing journey. A uh, friendly creature captures one. Each of its neighbors, if it shares a house, uh, each of its neighbors that shares a house would also capture one. Uh, very interesting there. Heal or harm. Um, I have seen uh, uh, this card earlier today. Choose one. I can either fully heal a creature and gain one or ready and fight with a friendly creature every house has a um uh, a card like this in um so uh and everyone is slightly different and uh, very fitting to its uh the house that it's in um so uh yeah that's the uh the sanctum version of that card hammergram uh, we wanna we're, we're dealing three to a creature and then stunning it as well. Um, yep, standard. Uh, wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, we grand melee destroy each creature that does not share a house with at least one of its neighbors. Can't remember the card that's like from uh, Mass Mutation now. Um, but I think there's a discard that has a similar effect here. I could be wrong. Please uh, correct me in the comments. Uh, Bulwark. Um, I've seen this a few times um, already. Um, a very common card. Uh, second Bulwark. Um, which uh, always yeah, gives an extra with Assault 2 and uh, Neighbours gains Assault 2 as well. So pretty strong for a, um, uh, for, for, for a big battle line there as well. This is a this is a new cut. This I haven't seen this before. What does this one say? It's a deploy. Badge Badge Magus. Um Badge Magus. Badge Magus. I guess fifth set now they're gonna no, these cards are gonna be harder and harder and harder to uh, pronounce, aren't they? Um even in Sanctum. Uh deploy. This creature can enter play anywhere in your battle line fight ready and fight with each of battle magus's neighbors one at a time uh, it's a little bit of uh, uh maybe 30 percent of uh, gray rider um they're no, not gray rider um they you can uh use that for reaping as well um but that's pretty pretty strong um as well second badge magus okay this is getting to be a bit of a, uh, a fighting deck already uh what do we have here we have an uncommon and it's a gorm of om uh this is from uh could be mass i think this is a mass mutation one maybe even worlds collide um destroy gorm of om destroy an artifact okay some artifact control. Um, I haven't seen so much artifact control um, in some in some of the decks already. Uh, Dry the river. Here we have a uh, a new card for uh, dark tidings, and it's a rare. Each creature gains when the tide is low. This creature cannot reap. Okay, this is good. But again. This deck, I haven't seen any um, tide raising cards, so hopefully some of the other houses are gonna are gonna be able to are gonna have that and gonna be able to help me out there. Oh, here we go, an evil twin, the evil twin of Sir Babel. Uh, that artwork is just absolutely brilliant, brilliant as well. I'm gonna pick out the um, 
uh, the his his good twin in just a second. This one is uh, like his uh, his his twin brother. Um, one damage and five armor, and just has poison. Um, and just very quickly, if I can uh, try and find his uh, brother over here. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is from a deck that I opened earlier. Uh, Sir Beaver, and he just has Taunt. So his evil twin um, really is an evil twin. Um, and that is my first evil twin that I've opened in the Dark Tidings. And my last card in Sanctum is another evil twin. Fantastic. Uh, Almsmaster. Uh, the evil twin of Almsmaster, he has deploy. Each of Almsmaster's neighbors gains destroyed steel one. And so this is a uh, an evil twin with a um, only positive uh, effect. I've seen a couple of evil twins um, in other decks tonight, which have had. Um, uh some negative uh effects as well so yeah this is uh this is this is really nice that's our sanctum let's move on to either our star or the sarian i'm gonna i guess this is sarian yes this is sarian spoils of battle um, yeah, we've seen this one before. Friendly creature captures one each creature with Ember on it, or say captures one from its opponent. Second spores of battle. A new Saurian card. Uh, if the tide is high, a friendly creature captures three. Otherwise, raise the tide. Okay, this is this is good that we've got something that can raise the tide because I really do think that uh, three chains is, is is quite a lot to, to control the tide, um, uh, to raise the tide. Here we have a new card. Play is ostracize. Play lose one if you do purge a creature. Fantastic. Inferno decks, watch out. Uh, <clears throat> it's a uh, console primus returns um, from mass mutations. He enhances um, another card with capture and he has reap move one from a creature to another creature. Carpe Venom. This is a new card. Play Exalt. Exalt two enemy creatures. <laughs> okay. Exalting becomes a little bit more interesting here. Um, yeah. Exalting on enemy creatures is just some free amber. Um, okay. Uh, Sorarium. Each creature with the lowest power cannot reap. Uh, that's a new card for Dark Tidings. Um, oh, I'm really looking forward to being able to play these. Um, Humble. Uh, this is, I think this is Mass Mutation. Um, exhaust a creature. If you do move three from that creature to the common supply. Um, great. Uh, good way to get any uh, captured ember back into the pool. Uh, we have a Crassosaurus elusive uh, capture 10 from any combination of players. Then, if Crassosaurus has fewer than 10 on it, purge Crassosaurus. <clears throat> so, only really play if someone has more than 10. Um, I've seen this this card has also I think returned. For, I think I saw this in uh, <clears throat> Worlds Collide um, uh, as well, and it's the it's this is actually one of the cards that you would um, 
just probably discard actually because it's very rare that your opponent would have more than, than 10 unless they're, they're, they're hoarding and uh, yeah then we can uh, punish them for it <coughs> Sarian Evil Twin Magistravita uh, isn't that beautiful play fight you may exalt a friendly non-Sarian creature if you do fight with it Resulting a non souring creature even there as well. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> we have a second evil twin. A an evil twin of an evil twin. Um if that even makes sense. <coughs> and um we have uh, another evil twin, a uh, sense of Philo. And um, this is a deal five, play deal five damage to a creature with Ember on it. Um, really, really interesting there. <coughs> Excuse me, there, just probably get some water. Okay. Um, okay, last house. Let's have a look at our Star, um, Star Alliance for this as well. Um, <clears throat> before we turn in for the night. Okay, here we go. Zap. Yeah, this is from uh, Worlds Collide. Deal one to a creature for each house representative amongst <coughs> creatures in play. Uh, we have a uh, Technobabble. His new card stun a creature and each of its neighbours that shares a house with it. Excellent. Second Technobabble. Getting some stun in here. Stun is actually becoming a lot more useful in previous um, games that I've seen. So, Science Officer Kinkan. Um, elusive. After a player chooses an active house, <coughs> which matches no guys in place, still one. Um, that's returned from a uh, previous set as well. Officer's Blaster. Uh, creature gets. This creature gets plus two power. Creature gains destroyed. Attach Officer's Blaster to this creature's right neighbour. So the creature, the the blaster doesn't get destroyed, if I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, so the, the this upgrade just passes on to uh, <laughs> the, the neighbour, which is uh, quite interesting for, for, for a weapon. We have a new card um, here in for, for Dark Tidings. Diplomat Angung, play, fight, or reap, and for the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature belongs to the house of your choice in addition to its other houses. I love uh, Star Alliance for its house cheating. Ambervac, uh, play, raise the tide. So not as much tide manipulation. Um, we're coming to the end of uh, the deck now. Um... This creature gains at the start of your turn. The tide is high. Capture two. <coughs> okay. Force field. This creature gains. Uh, reap ward this creature. Uh, returning from. Uh, believe that's actually turning returning from mass mutation uh, for a second set. Okay, CXO Saber, CXO, CXO Tabor, uh, let to say this right. Fight week, you may play or use a non style Lights card this turn. Um, <clears throat> I kind of wanted that one that to be a, a, um, a play card as well, but maybe that would make it too strong. Um, Matter Maker, you may play upgrades as if they belonged to the active house. Okay, this this is nice. Although there's, I uh, hasn't seen. I've only got two or three upgrades so far, but that that makes them a little bit more um, useful. However, the upgrades that I have here are actually in Star Alliance, so uh, that's going to be a little bit. Uh, it's a bit, bit of a dud card there. I'm not really sure how much that's going to um, help me here. Um, we've got forging an alliance. Ah, forge. Uh, forge a key cheat here. Forge a key at plus seven current cost, reduced by one. I don't think I've got a 
deck with this card in, although it's from uh, last one of last year's decks uh, sets. Um, Yeah, Forge Key at plus seven current costs reduced by one to a maximum of six for each house represented amongst cards in play. Um, so it could be um, a, a good uh, key cheap. I do enjoy a good key cheap, and um, I always uh, look to try and pull them off wherever I possibly can. And the last card that we have in the Star Alliance, and I really hope this is an evil twin, it is. Rocketeer Triska. As skirmish, while the tide is high, Rocketeer Triska enters play ready. Ha, there's my entering play ready um, uh, effect that I wanted here, and has skirmish as well to think of the damage that that could do when you most need it. Cool, that, that's been a. I think this is a fun deck. I'm not sure how um, is yeah. I guess it's got some strength. There's a lot of creatures here, um, especially in Sanctum, um, and it'll be interesting to see how these decks go. I've opened four decks so far, so I'm really hoping that I can start to play them soon and uh, start to see how they all work together. Uh, and everything. I'm gonna log these decks in later as well. So that's been my. Uh, um unboxing videos um i hope you've enjoyed it um i've we've been going i've been going since about uh, for the last five hours really um we've had some good uh, chats tonight on the discord which um uh new discord um and i've played a game on uh, webcam you see i've got my uh uh all my tokens out here ready for when we play, including my uh, Dark Ember. I can leave the link for this in the in the notes when I when I find it for the my my Dark Ember uh, um, keys as well. And uh, yeah, just want to also big thanks to um, uh, Game Maniacs for giving me uh providing me with a nice play mat here as well game maniacs and lead chirping in sweden thank you so much for for this one as well um but yeah if you like the video please um subscribe subscribe to the channel in twitch and youtube um i'm gonna you know not work out a lot more here work out uh, make this a little bit more smoother as well and um i won't only be talking about keyforge hopefully i'll be uh talking about some other games that i like playing um some twilight imperium and, and other things as well but you know it's all about balancing life with with family and work too but um anyway thank you for um watching thank you for staying tuned through two whole uh deck openings in one video hope you didn't get too bored um with that but cool thank you for watching and um thank you from thank you from me